And new this morning, if you plan to fly anytime soon, listen up, you may have to wait longer times at the airport during the shutdown. Right, national media outlets are reporting that many TSA agents have been calling in sick during the shutdown. Yeah, that government shutdown really having an impact. CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gasquery joining us live in Birmingham with a look at that impact and it can have on travelers. Connie? Hey guys, I'm here at Groom Transportation in Birmingham. If you're not familiar with this organization, they provide rides from Birmingham to the Atlanta airport and back. You can see one of their vehicles that they use to transport people parked out front now. So when that airport gets busy, it can have an impact on their customers. And reports out of Atlanta say it has been quite busy lately. So if you're traveling through there soon, it's possible you might encounter some longer wait times. Supervisors at Groom typically recommend that travelers get to the airport at least two hours before their flight but they're offering different advice now. I would say at least three hours just to be safe okay. and, and maybe three and a half if you're traveling international just to be safe. He says it is a bit tough to predict how busy it will be, though, but he says the evenings right now seem like they've been a little bit busier than the mornings. So for anyone in the travel business right now, this government shutdown can create some tricky situations. You'll hear from the folks here at Groom about the challenges it's presenting for them coming up in the next half hour. Live in Birmingham, Count and Gasquee, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.